Hello, this is Brian Rosner with Biomed Publishing Group, and I want to talk a little bit about how to deal with Lyme disease when you're in the outdoors. Now, as you can see, I live in a snow climate, so I don't get out that much during the winter time. I try to exercise on a treadmill and uh, an indoor track that they have here where I live, but that doesn't mean that I don't like to be outside. In fact, in the summer, I spend most of my time outside, and I mountain bike and run and hike and go camping. And I do a lot of that type of thing. So the question arises, well, how do you prevent Lyme disease when you're in that type of an environment? Well, you know, there are the obvious things that you have to do, such as make sure that your skin isn't exposed to uh, grass and, you know, keep uh, long pants on and uh, have a friend check your back and your neck and other areas where you can't see for ticks. Uh, in addition to just being careful when you're outside, and you know being careful when you're in brush areas and heavy forestation and that type of thing as well as um, you know making sure that uh, your clothing is free of ticks and um, and that type of thing but there's some other things that you can also do as well uh, for example make sure that you have a doctor that knows you and knows about Lyme disease in your area and is um, proficient in treating it in case you do have a tick bite. So instead of having to run around town after you get a tick bite and begging different doctors to give you antibiotics, you can go straight to the guy that, uh, that you know will help you out. Additionally, it doesn't hurt to keep a, a supply of antibiotics on hand in case you do get bit by a tick. And you know you can ask your doctor for 10 days of doxycycline or that type of thing. And if you explain the situation, any reasonable doctor would be willing to comply with that. So those are some ways that you can be proactive in preventing Lyme disease, not just in preventing a tick from attaching to you, but in case you do get a tick, being ready to deal with that. Um, as you can see, uh, someone on the Marshall Protocol, like myself, I've used the protocol in the past, may have to take special precautions when outside, such as wear a uh, sort of a dorky hat and sunglasses like these and make sure um, arms and legs are protected from the sun but that doesn't have to ruin your summer fun I, when I was very sick with Lyme disease I spent a lot of time outdoors and I still did a lot of the things that I liked when I had the energy of course and I just made sure to go uh, either early in the morning or uh, you know around uh, sunset at night so that I could not overheat because I was in my long sleeves and that really allowed me to participate in many of the activities that I loved. So this is Brian Rosner with Biomed Publishing Group and I'm hoping that uh, Lyme disease doesn't stop you from enjoying the great outdoors and even if you do have some limitations I'm hoping that you can still enjoy the great outdoors uh, to whatever level that you're able to.